Monday marked a significant date, the 90th anniversary of the May 4th movement in China. It was celebrated in Hong Kong, but perhaps not quite as the original leaders of the movement had in mind. I think the uh, celebration this year have only uh, some partial rele relevance to the, what happened 19 years ago. What the celebration this year have uh, insisted upon is on the patriotism. But what the celebrations this year, in particular in China, men in China, but also to some degree in Hong Kong, sort of uh, ignore or tone down to a large degree, is the fact that the May Force movement was very much about science and democracy. Hong Kong authorities are very loyal to Beijing. They're not going to rock the boat. They're not going to say, well, wait a minute, you forgot something about May 4th. Young people and students dissatisfied by how China's concerns had been overlooked in the Versailles Treaty gathered in Tiananmen Square on May 4th, 1919. They wanted a stronger country and a new culture, one that promoted science, equality and democracy. In 1989, their aspirations were echoed by a new generation of protesters in Tiananmen Square. School Vice Principal Ho Hon Kun used the 90th anniversary of the May 4th movement to kick off celebrations of the 60th anniversary of the establishment of the People's Republic of China. He wants his students to develop a more analytical approach to contemporary Chinese history. On Monday, a special assembly was held in the school. 